Hey, what's up, villains and villainettes? <laughs> it's your boy Janar. Welcome to the channel. And today I'm going to do the Nard Shell Challenge. This is a shell that I built due to an epic fail from a previous 10 minute build challenge. So I figured, you know, I would modify the build and upload it to the gallery for not only myself, but, you know, for all you creative builders out there looking for a challenge. So I'm going to sip my coffee and go over a few little rules here now a 30 by 20 lot isn't recommended but i mean it's a small build so it will make sense to be on a small lot so that's up to you and be sure to upload your creation to the gallery and hashtag nard shell or even nard shell one so then that way i can kind of find it Let's just go through the quick do's um, for this challenge just so we can get it out the way. So you can change the wall heights and rotate the shell if needed. And you can also move it on the lot if you need to. It doesn't have to be exactly where I placed it. And also you can add fences and you can add interior walls, of course, and you can landscape and you can add a patio, additional patios, as long as there's no additional walls added to the exterior shell. And it can be any lot type as well. Um, I went with the residential, of course, but I do know. Big shout out to Chillin' with D Light. I know he ended up creating a movie theater, so you can be really creative with this build. Let's just go through the don'ts real quick. So you cannot change the exterior walls. You cannot delete them or remove them. You cannot add a basement and can't add any walls as decoration outside of the shell. Sure, if you need a shed or something, I'll allow it, but no other additional rooms outside of the shell. And last but not least, no custom content. Try to be creative with the packs you have. It'll also be easier for me to do a tour of your build and it'll also allow others to download it from the gallery. And don't forget to hashtag Nard Shell if possible or some variation of that. Nard Shell Challenge, Nard Shell One, Nard Villain Challenge, or whatever. All right, let's get into the build here. All right, as you can see, I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to put the stairs. <laughs> And let me tell you, it took me about eight minutes to tour around with the stairs, how I wanted to go, where it's going to go. And I just decided to just stick it there in the back because with this shell, it's, it's all, the first level is already small. So it was like, well, I'm very limited in a way. And also I'm thinking, you know, the goal originally was to kind of create like a, a modern home perfect for like a bachelor, you know, like a little bachelor pad, you know, before he settles down and he or she settles down and get married. Originally, I wanted to go with a professional bowling theme. You know, like this type of home will be perfect for a bowler, maybe like a former bowler or something. And as you can see here, I'm kind of dividing the first level up to where one area is gonna be the, obviously the kitchen, and then one area is gonna be the living room. And because I was, you know, aiming for the bowling theme, I thought this would be a great opportunity to you know pull some items from the bowling night stuff pack so the living room pretty much showcases quite a bit of the build and buy items from from that pack as you can see the couches there and the, the end table coffee table the single chair and then the couch um, pretty much represents that whole pack and and then I went with more of a modern like luxury spa pack and um just anything that might have offered solid dark colors um throughout the build i wanted to go for that that you know modern feel to the to the build so i think using solid colors and keeping everything pretty simple um, was the idea for for the build so as you can see here i'm using like again solid black um cabinets cabinet tops countertops um for from the spa pack and you know using everything dark and uh again i i, I just like that modern look and because i wanted to go with the bachelor pad theme um for me modern is i feel like represents that perfectly and i went with jungle adventures um refrigerator there which is nice and <laughs> if you know me I, I suck when it comes to exterior so I for I don't know why but I cannot pick out the best windows 
but for me when i think when when i think modern i always think like big open windows so i feel like having those big square base game windows would be totally fitting for for this build and when it comes to interior and comes to wallpaper obviously in the kitchen you will see that i like to use the spa again you know so i use spa for the towel in the wallpaper in the 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 oh my bad that that it might have sounded like a skip but it was literally me screwing up uh, what I had to say and I'm keeping it in so I thought that was funny but anyway let's just get back to it I'm gonna actually shut up for now and let you guys enjoy at least some of the speed build and the music so I might chime in here and there when I feel like I want to put my input in it but just enjoy it until then Yeah, so as you can tell, I was not able to fit in a fully functioning bathroom down on the first level. So my next thing was to figure out, well, maybe I'll do a one and a half bath build. So with that being said, I decided to go with the one bedroom and one and a half bath. And then the half bath being downstairs, and then you will have a full master bathroom upstairs. When, when we get to that, I'll tell you my uh, idea for that. I don't know why but I had the toughest time trying to figure out how I wanted to enclose the stair area and I totally forgot that I can add railings to the stairs it would have made my life so much easier doing that but um, as you noticed I just went ahead and did half walls and the half walls worked I wish I remembered to do the railings instead but as you can see, once the build progresses, it, it worked out. It worked out.
Now, I bet you're thinking, wow, how is he going to pull off another bathroom? He has very limited space in the area he's trying to create the bathroom. But for me, I was like, I can probably pull it off and do a very small bathroom. But something told me, let's make this a crazy massive master bedroom. So as you can tell, I closed off the stairwell perfectly so that way I can slide in more items into a little, a bigger space now. And I'm thinking, when you go to the restroom, you're in the shower or you're taking a bath, you're probably in your most vulnerable state. So why not be in your vulnerable state in a more comfortable, luxurious kind of way, you know? Whatever Sim decides to live in this home, they're gonna definitely be comfortable in the bathroom. They're gonna feel like kings or queens. Well, if you've been following me for a minute, and if you haven't been following me, please hit that subscribe button. But you will know that you will know my opinion about dining tables. I mean, there's a large percentage of people who honest, honestly do not eat at the dining table. It's usually an area where you store all your old mail and just random accessories, and and it just piles and piles up throughout the year. So. Um, I took advantage of cluttering up the area for the dining area as well as the office space area. You know, there's always like that area, like your old office space, old computer you don't use that just piles on like storage and boxes and stuff. So that's what I decided to go with um, on the first level. And I think it worked out.
telling you, man, I'm loving this build. And I feel like I should get some props. Major kudos because all my 10 minute build challenges and no mistake builds has been, I know, trash. Complete trash. But this build here though, this build right here, this right here is some of my finest work. So you, you guys get to really see me in my most creative state when I'm not under pressure to really put something together in like 10 minutes. This build honestly took me almost three hours to put together and I'm a slow builder. So now I'm just working on the, uh, the landscaping here. And again, this is a bachelor pad. So he's very limited in the space because it's a very small residential home. So I thought if this person who lives in this home is social, he has a lot of outdoor social elements. And you know, that's important because you know, you want to have your basketball goal. You want to have like some few items, like a little fire pit, some horseshoe, jacuzzi, just a few little items that where if he has some buddies over, him and his buddies can kind of go outside, kick it, fire up some, fire up the grill, you know, roast some marshmallows at the fire pit and just just kick it you know and but um but yeah i just wanted to make sure with the landscaping i kept the landscaping to you know a little to, to a little minimum you know throw some trees out there throw a little bird box and stuff like that but for the most part bachelor let's just throw out some things some activities see him and his buddies can come through um go go hit up newcrest bar and tavern come back sober up and just kick it lounge out in the uh, upstairs area or just you know kick it outside and uh, yeah that's pretty much the build and I'm really happy with it and, and I think uh, for most of this rest of the video I think I might add some extra decor um, inside and maybe do a little more of a walk through but that's pretty much it and if you like this build it'll be available on the gallery nard villain hashtag nard shell and it'll be up there this will be my version of the nard shell challenge and uh be sure to download it i'm thinking the deadline will be the last week of march so i'm thinking deadlines will be you know march 28th and that's when i'll probably go ahead and review all the submissions put together a nice little video i might even go live and just do a live walkthrough so everybody can see the builds and then maybe pick a couple or maybe just one that stood out the most and yeah i think this is fun i really appreciate the people who have actually been um doing the the challenge this make this means a lot to me like i didn't think that anyone would even download the shell from the gallery and i hope it was somewhat of a challenge and i've seen some very creative ones so far again chilling with delight big shout out to speechy she did one as well hers is up on the on the on youtube as well and on the gallery and I will also create a playlist with everybody's shell who decided to do a video. But uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna do a little quick little walkthrough at the very end of this video. But I just wanna remind you guys to go ahead and like the channel. Go ahead and give me a subscribe, like the video, comment. Um, and if you're not following already, go ahead and like I said, hit the subscribe button and enjoy the rest of the video. And then until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Peace.